Hello gorgeous! So I wanted to do my first, I guess, celebrity inspired look for you guys. And um, I feel like I really love Lana Del Rey's look. Um, it's very vintage -y, 60s inspired with the dark cat eye and the... She just got a beautiful look. So I, did, I put this together for you guys. Um, it's definitely the heavy, heavy black liner, thick black lashes, um, but I kept my face pretty pretty pale with just bronze around my cheek and around my hairline. So if you wanna see how I got this look, just keep on watching. So I started already with my eye cream, my eye moisturizer, and then I also started with the um, Dr. Jart. It's a BB beauty balm, and um, the color is super, super light. I don't see the color on here though. This is, this is what it looks like right here. You can see it. Um, and it is basically like an ivory. So I, um, Lana Del Rey's skin is very, very porcelain in the photo that I'm recreating. So that's what I'm going with. And then the foundation that I'm going to use today, I'm using my Frankie Rose and I'm using it in Vintage because that happened to be the lightest um, shade that I had out of my foundation. I didn't have time to run out and get a new shade. Bad. Okay, right? Bad. YouTube. So I'm just gonna like grab this on. And guys, I have the biggest boo-boo of my life on my chin. Like it's it. So don't mind it. I'm sorry in advance. So because I'm trying to keep a super pale complexion for this particular look, instead of um, setting with a neutral or a um, skin toned powder, I'm gonna actually set with my transparent. Uh, MAC Prep and Prime, you can see how white that is, uh, loose powder. Next I'm going to just conceal my under eyes. I'm going to use my regular concealer, Kat Von D's Tattoo. Concealer in medium and I'm going to try and get rid of this guy right here. This thing is huge and a couple other blemishes that I have. So Lana Del Rey, in the photos that I've seen, um, she keeps her very, very pale complexion, but she does chisel her cheekbones a little bit, which I already have very, a very structured face. My, my cheekbones are very high, if you can already tell. So I'm just gonna play on those a little bit by adding a little bit of bronzer right underneath my cheekbones and working it up. And I'm using my Hoola Benefit bronzer here and the little brush that comes with it. I'm gonna work a little bit of the bronzer up in my hairline as well, just to add a little bit of color but not too much because I still want to keep that. In um, this photo, like I said, she doesn't really have very much blush on, so I'm just gonna barely, barely go in with a little bit of Sun Bask from um, MAC right on the cheekbone, just to like give a little bit of a rosy. I'm gonna use some Painterly paint pot. Mine's a little bit dried out around the edges, but it still looks just fine uh, for a base on my eyelids. Keep, I wanna keep my eyes neutral. I'm going to fill in my eyebrows really quick, but I'm going to highlight my brow bone first. And I'm just using my um, e.l.f. 2-in-1 Shadow Lifter and Filler. It's in color dark, so it's a lifter on one end and a filler on the other end. So Lana has pretty thick eyebrows at the base, so I'm going to just fill these in right at the base of my brows with this pencil. And again, this is, I, I'm just basing this off of one photo here. And she has a pretty high arch, but then a thin tail on it. So now that I've got the color on there, I'm gonna just take a dry spoolie brush and uh, comb it through because that helps distribute the color pretty well. Now I'm just gonna go in with an angled brush so you, so I can um, move the color where I want it to be in my brows. 
then you can always just apply a, a, a thin line of um, concealer. Kind of just to frame them along the top. Now that my eyebrows are done, I'm going to go in with a little bit of Foxy, which is a nude color from the Naked 2 palette, and I'm just going to apply that from brow bone all the way down to my lids. It's basically, or my lash lines are, sorry guys. So basically my entire eye, I'm going to do this nude color. And then I'm going to go in with um, Nooner, which is a taupey color from the Naked 3 palette and I'm gonna put that right into my crease. I'm just doing that to um, add some depth to my eye. It's not a necessary step, but I just feel like um, it, it adds a, a nice dimension to the eye when you have a solid, thick cat, -like cat eye going on. So I'm just gonna, I'm just using my MAC 213 to do this. It's not really a lot of shadow on my brush, it's just, really getting it in your crease. And then I'm gonna just touch my lid with a little bit of Strange, that's also from the Naked 3 palette, to add a little bit of white to my lid. Not really white, but shimmer and a lighter color. And then I'm gonna put that on my brow bone for a highlight. All right, so now we're gonna do the cat eye. And I'm gonna use my MAC Black Track Gel Fluid Liner and I'm gonna use an angled eyeliner brush. Um, the brush that I'm using is actually a, a Sonia Kashuk eyeliner brush. Um, it doesn't even have a number on it, but I got it from Target a while ago, and it's my favorite eyeliner brush that I've used. So um, she keeps her liner very thick, um, typically, because it's a very 60s retro look. So um, I'm gonna start thin and then just build to get thicker to get that look. And now I'm just going to pull the liner underneath my eye. For under the eyes, I'm gonna use just a black color shadow with a, a pencil brush and just smudge it out a little bit. Next, I'm gonna just curl my lashes and add a thin coat of mascara because fake lashes are like an absolute, positively, absolutely, definitely all those words. You gotta have false lashes for this look. I'm just using my favorite mascara, L'Oreal Voluminous. this tutorial today. It was fun to come up with a different look for you guys that wasn't just a, well, I have a new eyeshadow, let's do something with it. It was kind of fun to have somebody to model it after. Um, so this is just my version, my take on Lana Del Rey. You guys might watch it and say that doesn't look anything like her. That's fine. I just wanted something inspired by her. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any requests for tutorials or reviews, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to visit me on my website at AngelaLanter.com. You can visit me on Instagram, on Twitter at, at, at Angela Lanter, or even on Facebook or Pinterest. So just come visit me and talk to me and I want to talk to you guys. So thanks so much for watching. Au revoir.